Joined by Dorchester's finest, Jonathan Lambert and head coach Raul Brown. Jonathan, you go down. They score a touchdown with 10 seconds to go. You knew you had one chance. What were you thinking as you caught the ball? It looked like they had two guys there, a chance to tackle you, turn, and then all that open space. Um, I thought I was going to get tackled. That's pretty much it. I didn't think I was going to get through. It happened. What were you guys talking about in the huddle, knowing that the Mason Cup has been in your building for so long, trying to keep it there? Um, what was going on in the huddle is that any, we could do anything. Anything is possible. We was working hard on practice, and we, just, we didn't want to give up a game, no matter how much time was left in the game. You guys went down early. They scored those 14 points, and then you came back. The physicality is something that's always talked about in this rivalry. You played on both sides. How do you keep the energy up, the emotions up, when you're getting hit every single play, and it's a little bit harder than most games? Keep, just keep thinking positive. You're going to get hit. It's football, so keep thinking positive. Keep pushing. You know, I believe in my team. And one last question. At what point did you know you were getting in on that final play? When the coach was looking at me on the sidelines, he was He's looking at He gave me that look, so I knew I was probably going to get the ball. Well, congratulations, Jonathan. A phenomenal finish in this one. A huge game from you. We'll bring in Coach Brown. Everybody. Coach, it's always a big rivalry game between you two teams, and it means even more in the Boston South. Lost last week, get, the, get to one and one. How huge is this for your team's mentality at this point at one and one, knowing that you're perfect in the Boston city? Yeah, so, so for, for us, it's huge because now we control our own destiny, which is a beautiful thing to do in Boston. You don't have to wait, you know, depend on another team to lose or see what happens. I felt like if Latin Academy won this game, they wrote their own destiny to a city championship. I'm just glad now we're in control and whether we deserve to be city champs, we will soon see. You guys went down 14 nothing. You got the, the touchdown you needed before half to get that positivity back. Take us through those last three minutes where the momentum just seemed to swing so much. What were you talking about as a coaching staff, even in those last couple seconds, of how you were going to get back into this game and win it? Well, we, we, we kind of, first thing I want to make sure, you know, I give it up to Coach Rocco and, and Latin Academy. They are a phenomenal team. They're well coached. We knew they wouldn't give up. Um, we we kind of knew that, you know, their offense wasn't built to go down the field and, and, and throw long distance. So we knew this tight, the tight end screen or the, you know, the tunnel screens were coming. A couple of our kids missed it just being in the moment. But as a coaching staff, we just say, hey, let the clock run, keep playing the game and see what happens. They made a hell of a play down there. This game should have been theirs. And, you know, luck was on our side today. Was that play exactly executed the way you wanted, throw down the middle where it could have ended right there if you didn't get down in time? Well, we knew they were playing a cover two or four, four deep, so the only spot we possibly could throw the ball without it getting picked off was down, straight down the middle. And I knew if I put the ball in number seven's hands, anything can happen when he hit, when he he once he gets the ball. <laughs> so it's well, fun, it it's fun to watch. It worked out this time. Congratulations. Much. The Mason Cup staying in Dorchester for at least one more year. Guys?